Dr. Todd Perry here, another installment in our video series. This one is going to be on pool therapy. Uh, quite often I'm telling uh, a lot of my senior citizen patients to get in a pool. Just get in a pool and move. And this can be after a knee replacement. We're in those early stages and just not back. That can be after an ankle sprain or uh, returning from a broken ankle. Anything to get us in the water. Or maybe we've just allowed ourselves to uh, decondition quite a bit over the years. We're not ready to start walking long distances or jog. Water is the perfect physical therapy medium. And why do I say it's perfect? Because if you are really out of shape or you really have a bad joint or you're recovering from a rotator cuff, the water, if you move slowly, will actually help lift that limb for you and it will support you. As you get stronger, the harder you push, the more the water resists. So it is just perfect. It takes it from kind of babying you and helping you out to being that ultimate resistance when you when you uh, build up and want that resistance. Let's go through some of the things that kind of help us. Okay, I think there's some uh, some things that are obviously a good pair of goggles is nice. Uh, being in a beautiful setting is nice. You get to be outside. So what are some things that can help you get started in your pool therapy? Obviously first find a beautiful place like this to get out in the uh, middle of the day and that uh, that makes it more enjoyable. Find some friends. Okay, other things that help um, a good pair of goggles, okay? And then when we start jogging, I'm gonna talk about some walking in the water. And let me pick up a pair of shoes here. I actually, when I run in place in my pool, uh, just from the, the, the plaster on the bottom, it started to hurt the bottom of my feet if I did it too long. I started wearing little water shoes uh, like this, and obviously any brand will work. And it protected my feet, so I felt like I could be more active, stay in the water, and do it day after day without my feet getting soft. Another thing that helps as we start building resistance program is these uh, little gloves that will give you kind of webbed fingers, or they make big plastic ones as well. Obviously, they are designed for the serious swimmer, but you'll see later when we get in the pool, we're going to use our hand as we cup it to provide resistance. Whether we're doing biceps and triceps, or whether we're doing shoulders, or whether we're going to work that, that pec, okay, and the rear deltoid. If we do it with our hand, oftentimes that's just enough right there if you're pushing as hard as you want. If you feel like you're getting beyond that, you want a little bit more resistance, you purchase something like this, you get that, and then you're pushing a lot more water, a lot more resistance as you move. Okay, now you gotta be a little careful with these because if you have that arm straight and you're really pushing with these, that transfers a lot of force to your shoulder. Okay, and that's one of the uh, kind of problems you can see is that people start swimming too much in these. But early on and doing a little bit with these uh, can be a good step in your progression as we move along. So first thing, I like just walking. When I was recovering from my injury, just walking in the water is, is all I could do. And so it was a great start. Again, water helps you. So we'll get in and we'll just walk. And power, we're gonna power walk. So you're just power walking, force yourself. The harder you lift those knees, the more you're gonna get out of that. When you get to where you can do that easily, then we're gonna to advance to some running, okay? And what makes a run? Both feet are off the ground at one time, okay? So a little bit more effort, a little jump, okay? A little jump there. Again, as I'm recovering, I still cannot jog. I can't do any running on ground but I can do it in the pool. So that's what you want to do. Now, again, if I'm just taking it easy, I'm not really feeling anything out of this. But if I push hard, I'm getting a lot out of that. Okay, and the next thing that I like to add is we're recovering from a, a leg injury. We're trying to strengthen that leg is some hopping. Okay, we're gonna do one leg. This part of the pool is a little bit deeper. So I started in the slightly deeper part of the pool and then I got to where I could do it in the slightly shallower part. And what do I do? I get on that one leg and I will just hop across to the other side. And then I'll turn around and I'll come back on the other leg and I'll just hop around. And is what I like to do is I would run down the side, hop on my stronger leg in the shallow end, run down this side and then hop on my weaker leg in the deep end. Then I would do 10 of those and then I do a different exercise. Then I do 10 of those and then a different exercise. And just keep coming back, working those legs, okay? Once we get to that, to where those things are easy, then we wanna get into more of the, uh, again, taking advantage of the water, having that help us 
as we get our legs stronger and we're also going to work on that flexibility. Again, whether it be an ACL tear or an ankle sprain we're recovering from or a knee replacement. So I think jumping, okay, again, if I'm doing it in the water, the water is absorbing all of that. So I, I may not be able to jump on land with the resistance of gravity, but I can do it in the pool. So I'll come in here and I'll get down deep. Again, take advantage when you're landing of that force making you flex your knee and make you flex your hip and driving it a couple more degrees every time you do that. So you come in and just jump. Just get in and jump. Okay? Um, so I love that. Again, before you can do it on land, do it in the water. Another thing is lunges. Okay, I'll come down to where it's a little bit more shallow here. We've got lunges in the water. So with that, I'll take my, my one leg, put that way out in front, my other leg's behind me, and then I'll go down and lunge down. I'll try not to have the leading knee go in front of the leading toes. Okay, so we don't want to lean forward. We want to be kind of back, bending that back knee a little bit to let us come down. And I'll do the same thing. Then I'll jump up and switch sides and come in and go down. That water throws off your balance a little bit as you do these things, but man, it's a lot easier than doing it on land than a way to slowly build up, start getting that quad muscle really firing, stretching the hamstrings a little bit through here. And just a great way to do that. So again, what are you doing? You may say, all right, I'll do 10 of those, then I'll do a lap. I'll do 10 of those, then I'll do a lap. What's another good thing to do? Just use the edge to push off. Just like you did as a kid, you'd get in there, you'd push off that wall and you'd see if you could go the whole length of the pool underwater, okay? For recovering from, whether it be a spine problem, a lower extremity problem, pushing off that wall with a maximum push off is a great thing to do. It's hard to do that on land you can do that in water. Okay, again, so I'm gonna go underwater. I'm gonna put both legs against this wall and I'm gonna push off as hard as I can. I'm just gonna go to the other side. I'm gonna turn around and do the same thing. But I'm focusing on that one maximum push to wake my legs back up and uh, start to get some of that power back going. Okay, again, coming back, we'll just do the same thing. I'm gonna go under, put my legs on that wall, jump as hard as I can. Woo! And try not to drown. All right, so one more thing. Uh, waking our legs up, getting those muscles working again. I always tell people, just go hang on to the side of the pool like all those little old ladies did during the adult swimming hour when I was a kid at a pool and you had to get out. Get on the side and just start kicking. Okay, you can keep your legs kind of under. You can either do it with your knees straight, so you're working those hip flexors a lot, or if you need to work on getting that knee motion, make it go through just a full range of motion. Okay, you can get a little bit deeper kind of do the same thing almost like I'm jogging here in the water okay again just a way to let those muscles start going through that motion again okay great way to make that happen now let's move up to the upper extremity all those things have been working on our legs let's say we've got an upper extremity problem whether it be a shoulder whether it be an elbow something in that range we're gonna use this water there's resistance for us. And I do this, and I even when I was in great shape, I would get a great workout out of this. Again, the harder you push, the more it resists. So get in water, okay, shoulder deep. We're gonna use our hands as open palms or fans, and that is gonna be our resistance, okay? So I'll put this down, I'll push forward as hard as I can. That's gonna work the whole pec muscle. Then I'm gonna push back as hard as I can. That's gonna work the rear rear deltoid and a lot of those rotator cuff muscles, okay? So again, we're pushing back, we're pushing forward. Pushing back, we're pushing forward. Pushing back, pushing forward. Again, do 10 of those, then do a leg exercise, then do 10 of those. 
Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing. Hands are the fan. Now I'm going to take it. And I'm going to go from this position. I'm going to push back as hard as I can to this position. Then I'm going to push forward as hard as I can to that position. Just back and forth. So I'll be here. Push as hard as I can. 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 Again, do 10 or 20 of those. Okay. Then you can even get a bicep, tricep workout in here. Okay. Again, what are we going to do? As hard as I can, I'm going to pull this elbow up. Then as hard as I can, I'm going to push it back. And I'll sometimes let my arm come back a little bit when I do that. But if I'm using water as that resistance, pull forward, push back. Pull forward, push back. And right now, I've got really weak triceps. So this really helps me to try and push back and generate some of that force, which I can't do with weight machines now, but I can do in the water. I can pull forward, I can push back. Pull forward, push back. Okay, good way to go. We can also do abduction and adduction. Same motion, our hands are the fan. We wanna keep those perpendicular to the direction we're going, so we don't wanna turn our hands this way when we're going up. We want them to be here. We're gonna push up, work on those deltoids, that trapezius, and we're gonna pull down, work on that latissimus and that lower pec. So again, I'll be right here, and then I'll push down as hard as I can, and I'll push out as hard as I can. Down as hard as I can, out as hard as I can. And just keep going with that motion. You can really tell, I mean, I'm straining here, trying to do that as opposed, or I could say, yeah, I did 10 repetitions, I'm just here, and then I'm just enjoying the pool, okay? So that's not what we're after. As much effort as you put into it, is what you're gonna get out of it. Nobody's gonna know but you how hard you're really working those muscles. Okay. Now, the other thing is that spine, that rotations, I'll get in the water that's a little bit deeper. You can take your hands as a fan and use that to just, just rotate feet firmly planted, a little bit wider than shoulder width apart, and just rotate. Don't want to over rotate, but again, a good exercise. Kind of get in here, use those hands as kind of a fan, and you can get kind of an ab and an oblique exercise doing those right there. Push ups, okay, as we get older or we're recovering from an injury, tough to do push ups on, uh, on the ground. I can't do them on the ground yet, but I can do them in the pool because, again, the water's taking all that weight for me. So you get in here, your arms about shoulder width apart, and just push up as hard as you can. Again, if I go really slow, I'm just letting water do it. And that may be how you have to start, but then you want to get, so you are pushing as hard as you can, just that explosive movement. The further you get out of water, now I have to widen my hands to be able to do this, but the further you get out of water, kind of the harder you can push up to do that. Okay, so take advantage of that. Another option, if you have steps like this, or if, uh, oftentimes the community pools will have a railing for you, learn to do steps in and out of the pool, okay? Much easier. If I fall now, I'm falling into the water, okay? So I may not be able to do the 15 steps at home, but I can do these, and I can practice coming up and then coming down quickly, okay? Again, you may not be able to do that at home, and you may not go to the top step, but maybe you're just going to go here. I'm just going to practice stepping up, okay? I had my knee replaced. I'm just going to step up, and it, body weight is reduced by the water helping me out. And if I fall, I'm not hurting myself. So a good way to practice those steps just right in that pool, okay? Take one leg and just keep working that one leg for a while. Build it up, do 10 repetitions, and then do the other side. One other great thing to do is get a life jacket. Okay, put on a life jacket or they make the, the jogging rings you can wear and snap around your waist. Then you go in the deep end and you just jog. Okay, just jog. Again, take those legs through a motion, move those arms, do something that you aren't able to do on land. A great way to do it. I think you just, you just need to move. You get in the water as, as the beginning of your recovery and you just move. Whatever joint it is that's giving you trouble, you build up. And then you get so you can do that on land. You do the other things you're working with with your physical therapist and you get the, the full function back as much recovery as you need. So to sum it up, 
I think the pool is the best physical therapy medium ever. No matter what your stage of recovery, no matter what your injury. As soon as that skin incision or that wound is sealed, get in the water and start moving. If you can do lap swimming, wonderful. If you can't, just do the simple things we talked about today. Alternate one exercise with another and just keep going through. Whether you need to work hard on the upper body, whether you need to work the legs, you can just push. You won't injure yourself um, and it is a, uh, a great way to recover.